I do. I would never hurt anyone. After previously telling Amber that Lacey went missing weeks before the holiday, Scott now says his wife disappeared just before Christmas. Amber tries to extract more details out of him, but he tells her he can't say anymore because he doesn't want her to get hurt. Scott seems to be acutely aware that the media sees him as the main suspect in his wife's disappearance, but he maintains he had nothing to do with it. He even tries to convince Amber that Lacey knew about her and was fine with the situation. Amber doesn't believe a word. Throughout January, law enforcement surveillance operatives observe Scott Peterson make five separate trips to Berkeley Marina, where the search is ongoing for Lacey. On each occasion, he drives through the parking lot and along the seawall, but never gets out. On January 10th, Modesto police start wiretapping Peterson's cell phone. The following morning, they hear Scott lie to his mother that he's in Fresno when he's actually at the Berkeley Marina. Later that day, Scott starts engaging in evasive maneuvers on the highway and makes direct eye contact with a covert officer tailing him. The authorities decide to terminate the surveillance on Peterson's home. Five days later, on January 24th, Amber Fry goes public about her relationship with Scott Peterson. Scott told me he was not married. We did have a romantic relationship. Two and a half weeks later, Modesto police reclassified Lacey Peterson's missing persons case as a homicide. The number one suspect remains her husband, Scott. Richmond, California, Sunday, April 13th, 2003, 4.45 p.m.